most of the new developers in their career find this topic difficult to understand that's why today i'm going to explain inversion of control and dependency injection with an analogy okay so imagine there is chef in a kitchen who cooks different type of dishes with different type of ingredients in order to cook a dish the chef can make all the required ingredient by himself or he can have someone else to prepare all the ingredient for himself so in these two approach the first approach is without inversion of control and the second approach is with inversion of control so how in the second approach we are having someone else from an external source to supply the necessary dependency for our job that is why it is called inversion of control but when the chef prepare all the ingredient uh, no inversion of control is happening here it is a typical execution where the chef is tightly coupled to preparing his ingredient so if we dive into coding then we can clearly understand the idea so for that for our analogy we have first we created a class called ingredient it has a class variable called name for which will contain the name of our ingredient in our example it will represent the ingredient and we have two example one is with inversion of control and another one is without inversion of control so first we'll see without inversion of control so here we have created a class called shape without inversion of control here we have a constructor where when we call the constructor when a new instance is created the ingredient is prepared by the chef here uh, this uh, new ingredient with the name of the ingredient represents the creation of a new ingredient so in this uh, chef without ioc example every time a chef start cooking he create his own ingredient so this ingredient creation is inside the chef class so here when we in the main class when we create a new instance of chef the chef creates all the ingredient and then when we call the cook method the chef completes his cooking with that ingredient so this is a typical approach where the control flow of the program is executed serially line by line but what if we want to pass the responsibility of creating ingredient to someone else and we don't want to bother the chef to prepare the ingredient instead of that we want our chef to focus on his cooking and all the ingredient will be supplied by someone else to our chef our chef will receive the right ingredient for the right recipe so in that case let's see another class where we have inversion of control so here in our constructor instead of creating all the ingredient by our chef we are passing the ready made ingredient and the constructor is setting the ingredient to class variable so here our constructor is receiving the ingredient when creating the chef instance and then cooking with the past ingredient so in our main class here we first creating the salt ingredient and then passing the prepared ingredient to our chef the chef have no control over the salt ingredient he will just he will just cook with the supplied ingredient okay so this is what inversion of control called and the required ingredient is passed to the chef and it create a loose coupling with the chef the ingredient and chef are in loose coupling so if we need a different ingredient for a different recipe we can prepare the ingredient and just pass to our chef let's say we have a different ingredient for a different recipe then we can just pass this different ingredient to this chef constructor and then a different recipe will be cooked 
but in our earlier example if we want to create a different recipe then we need to change our code in the uh, constructor which is not a good practice so when we talk about inversion of control another term comes which is dependency injection so our main purpose is to achieve inversion of control but to achieve this what we did here here we have passed some value in our constructor so what we did here is actually one kind of dependency injection here the dependency for our shape is ingredient and we passed it to constructor so this is a constructor based dependency injection in order to achieve our inversion of control we utilize the dependency injection paradigm there may have some other approach to achieve our inversion of control and uh, dependency injection is one one of them dependency injection is a dependency injection is a strategy to achieve inversion of control so here for our analogy uh, having someone else to supply the ingredient to chef is the inversion of control instead of our chef preparing all the ingredient and the process of supplying the right ingredient to our chef is called dependency injection i hope you got the idea about inversion of control and dependency injection i'll see you in the next tutorial